It's the Breezer Radar X Pro review. Let's go find a city alley. Get it done. Das heutige Video beginnt mit einer Hydrationstabelle. Hast du genug Wasser getrunken? Versuche mindestens zehnmal am Tag durchsichtigen Urin zu haben. Ernähre dich hauptsächlich von Obst und Gemüse. Trinke ein Liter Wasser vor jeder Mahlzeit. Vielen Dank. So, who is this bike for the Breezer Radar? Um, it's for the person who doesn't want a road bike, doesn't want a gravel bike. Just on a mountain bike, they just want the strongest bike out there that will pretty much do anything. You know, could you race a crit on this? I could. Some skinnier, different wheels on there, skinnier tires, some road tires, but again and again, these hydro disc brakes are very powerful. So if you're using a road race tire, you're gonna lock it up real easy if you have to panic brake for whatever reason, right? And we, everybody panic brakes. It's just human nature, grab the brakes. That's why we have ABS. So this is great, these brakes, man, like, you could go 120k an hour down the hill here and feel totally confident. Not that you should, because if a kangaroo runs out and you're doing 120, see you later, you're gonna, you're gonna be in a wheelchair. I'm just saying though, the, the confidence inspiring the fat tire with the hydro disc, fantastic. Skinny tie, road race type, hydro disc, false confidence. You grab it too much, you're sliding out, you're crashing, gonna hit the barriers. Look in the Giro, look in the Tour de France, all the crashes, because of disc brakes now. But there's fat tires, this is what disc brakes are designed for, fat tires. Uh, fat tires are designed for disc brakes. They go, they're beautiful, they're like a perfect glove. When you have that skinny road race tire and disc brake, road hydro, <laughs> dangerous. So this is a bike, you know, it's, it's very, very heavy, all right? It's not a bike that, inspires me to go and do a time trial on. It's a bike where you're like, let's just go right across Australia in the straightest line possible. Over anything, sand, road, gravel, rocks, gardens, whatever. Fences, <laughs> it's a strong bike. You're gonna, you hit a kangaroo at 60k an hour, your bike's probably gonna be okay in this one. Uh, but you're not. So it's, yeah, it's got the GRX group set on there, some WTB alloy rims, it's easy to replace spokes. It's a very utilitarian bike from Breezer and uh, you know would I buy one no because not because it's not a bad not a, not because it's a bad bike it looks cool rides really nice the big wide road bars you know feel really good on the techie sections but for me I just prefer I'm very like I like polarizing bikes super lightweight road bike a lightweight cross-country hardtail those two things cover everything for me, right? And you got your gravel bikes, which is like a yeah, mixy mixy, you know? Gravel bikes are great in the Savannah City, with narrow handlebar for the potholes and wider tire. But I prefer road bikes for road, and I prefer mountain bike for mountain. Cross country hardtail 29er. It's gonna be lighter than this, it's gonna be faster than this. But it depends what you're looking for, you know? Bikes like this, they're. Uh, they're, they're cool. You can load them up. You know, this, is, this is great for touring. You can really, yeah, you can probably put a 50 kilos of luggage on this bike. Good luck doing that on a road bike, you know, carbon road bike. Good luck doing that on a carbon hardtail. Good luck doing that on a carbon, um, you yeah, know, gravel bike. But this is steel. It can handle a lot of weight to it. Okay, so it depends what you're looking for, you know. When I tour, I don't carry that much. You know, I've ridden across Australia. I've, Ridden from Perth to Sydney, uh, sorry, Perth to, to Tip of Cape York, rather. Uh, Perth to Adelaide, uh, Melbourne, Adelaide, many times. Adelaide, Byron Bay, Los Angeles to San Diego, Singapore up to Laos. And I use a road bike, you know, super lightweight, don't carry much. So it depends what you're looking for. But if you're going to ride across Australia, Simpson Desert, this would be a great bike for that. Then again, you could also have a lightweight cross country bike and put a trailer on the back, like a Tow Peak Journey trailer. So there's so many options now. It's not a bad bike, you know, nothing, no bike's really bad unless it doesn't fit you, you know, unless it's just like <laughs> breaking down all the time. So who would this bike suit? To someone who knows what they're looking for. They're looking for something like this. Utilitarian, heavy, strong, go anywhere, 
just cruising, not really racing, just cruising, just getting it done. You know, slow, long distance. This is what this bike is for, okay? Go anywhere. It's just chilling, cruising, listen to pod, it's a podcast bike. Put the podcast in and go do a 10 hour ride anywhere you want, all right? Just 150 watts, just cruising. Got this road, that road, whatever, you know? So yeah, with 50 kilos of luggage on, on your bike, all right? This is sort of a round the world bike when if you wanna go anywhere. You know, if I was gonna do around the world, I would ride a, uh, I'd ride a road bike, you know? But that's my preferences, ain't your preferences, people, all right? So this is just the beautiful thing about the cycling industry now. So much diversity, what do you want? You wanna be your fastest self, you get a lightweight road bike. You wanna go carry 50 kilos of water and ride places no one ever ridden before. Bike like this, you know, you wanna do Strava segments on your bike and a, on a cross country stuff, then get a 29 a hardtail, you know? So it's, it's so many options for different people out there. And now with bike packing bags, you can put the, the, you can go touring anything now, okay? But you can also put panties and stuff like this as well. So it's options, options, options. Options, options, options. Hope that answers the question. Probably doesn't. Anyway, cheers. Enjoy this format. Give the video a thumbs up. Share it around. And uh, when you, if you want to help me out, give the videos a like. Leave a comment. Helps the algorithm. All right? Helps the algorithm. If you want this content put out there more, if you want to meet more like-minded people, leave a comment. A lot of people meet each other in my comment section. All right always leave a comment if you want to have more like-minded people in your life leave comments all right you'd be surprised how many people now have friends in their town who are like-minded simply because they met through my comment section cheers